Hey, welcome to the video. I noticed today that Joomla released their Joomla 1.6 Beta 15 earlier today, and I was kind of hoping that it'd be a release candidate, and I know the Joomla team was as well, but it looks like it's still in beta. Anyways, I went ahead and downloaded it and uploaded it to the web server. So I figured I'd give it a shot, see what it's like. So looks like the install screen is really similar to 1.5, a little bit nicer graphics. Um, same pre-check, uh, everything checks out, so next. Uh, I'm sure that probably reads the same, if not, it should be very close. So database configuration here looks pretty straightforward and just like 1.5. So put on all my information, filled it out, and next step is FTP configuration. Looks really similar to 1.5, put all the information. I don't know if it's just my web server, but the 127.0.0.1 didn't work for me. So I just typed in the name of the website and it seemed like that. Auto found the path automatically and verified the FTP settings. I was happy with that. So next, went ahead and gave it a site name. I don't remember this in 1.5's install, but now it allows you to put in the meta description and meta keywords for the site. Uh, you just type in an email address. The nice thing about this is this was kind of an issue with 1.5, kind of bit them in the butt about a year ago. Um, no one would really go back and change the default name, and it wasn't something you could set up during the install. So now they make it something where you could actually change the name from admin to something else. So we'll call it not admin. And then type in the password. We'll install the sample data just to populate it. And everything other than admin username looks pretty much the same. And the meta description keywords, I don't remember that in 1.5. Uh, hit next. Yeah, it looks like that's it. it. Gives you the reminder remove the installation directory. Username not admin. Let's see if it gets mad for us not removing the installation directory. Let's just in the admin at least. So we call it not admin. All right, the password I just typed. And it uh, lets me into the back end. This looks kind of the same, but different, different color styles. Uh, this looks like drop down menus still. Uh, I remember there's supposed to be more templates now. Looks like there are. Oh, and looks like there's templates for the site and the administrator. Looks like. Blue Stork is the default for the administrator right now. Hathor, let's see what that one looks like. Looks white. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the control panel. Let's see, it looks okay. Uh, not a big fan of these menus. Okay, so let's go back to Blue Stork. Seemed to like that one better. It's weird not having it on the right. Okay, so. Atomic is the default, or I don't know where they say defaults here. So right now, Bees2 is the default. So I guess we should look at what the site looks like. Okay, so I guess that's the Bees template. No drop downs, font resizer search, login, powered by. Okay. Good old fashioned Milky Way, make that the default. And refresh. And yep, that's what 1.5 looked like there. So, what are these? Bees 2 default, Bees 2 park site. And so, refresh. Oh, I see. Different colors, menus on the right. Oops, still not dropping down. And let's try Fruit Shop. All right, Rocket Theme was supposed to make one of these things. They might have. I, I don't. I didn't pay that much attention to 1.6. At least not the development portion like that. I was more curious what's looking like right now. Uh, if I could click it, there we go. Atomic default, see what that looks like. I guess that's just a very basic one. Either that or it's not loading everything. Yeah, 
What the hell? Let's look at it real fast. Yeah, there's style sheets and stuff being applied, JavaScript. So I guess just a really basic file, uh, template for it. Well, anyways, that's the uh, installation for 1.6. So, kind of a little preview of what it looks like and what the admin looks like. Uh, looks like it's kind of a step up from 1.5. I haven't played with it at all, so this is just very first impressions here. Uh, kind of surprised it let me go as far as I did without deleting the installation folder off the web server, but got us to play with it more faster. Okay, so till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.